sky on a dark night, you'll see a twinkling star, which is really topsy-turvy land. And all the toys who used to belong to naughty children live there. But it isn't only children who are naughty, toys are naughty too. And there's one toy called Pongo the Pirate, who is very naughty indeed. When he lived on Earth, he belonged to bad boy Bogey. And now that he's come to life on topsy-turvy land, he's just as naughty as Bogey was. I'm Pongo, the pirate. I live in a grapefruit sloop. Ha ha! And with my spyglass, I spy and I peer and snoop. Ha ha! I'm Pongo, the pirate. I love to pinch and spank. If I should catch you, I'll make you walk the plank. Pongo bed, Pongo bowl. Pongo always looks for gold. Pongo bed, Pongo bowl. Pongo always looks for gold. Ha ha! <laughs> I'm Pongo, the pirate. I live in a grapefruit sloop. <laughs> and with my spyglass, I spy and I peer and snoop. <laughs> I'm Pongo, the pirate. I love to pinch and spank. If I should catch you, I'll make you walk the plank. Pongo bed, Pongo bowl. Pongo always looks for gold. Pongo bed, Pongo. Bold Pongo always looks the goal. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wonder what I can do with myself today. I need someone to live here and do the cooking for me. <laughs> yeah, but no one wants to live with a pirate, so we'll have to kidnap someone. <sighs> Now, who shall it be? I'll have a look through my spyglass and see. I spy with my good eye. Squish, the space boy. Squish is no good for me. Because he might squirt water into my soup. I wouldn't like that at all. Uh, I'd better find somebody else. Uh -huh. I spy with my little eye. Ah. Uh -huh. Sparky the dragon. Sparky was in his cave in the far mountain, making himself lunch. This is going to be the hottest hot pot I've ever eaten. Dragons must eat hot food or they can't blow smoke and sparks. Uh, Sparky's no good for me. If he blows smoke and sparks in my boat, he might set it alight. Oh, I spy with my little eye. Flopsy, the rag doll. Flopsy was making herself a pudding. But this is Topsy Turvy Land, the land where you can do whatever you want. So I made myself a pudding with tapioca, semolina, sago, and rice all mixed up together. <laughs> Won't you be tickled, Dobbo? I'll eat it all up. Oh, and then maybe I'll be sick or sobble. Aha! Flopsy is just the one for me. I love milky puddings, too. So I'll ask her to come and live on my boat. And if she won't come, <laughs> I'll kidnap her. Pongo left his boat on the beach and started to creep to Fruitown. 
I'd better not let any of the other toys see me. Ah. Why, that's a tingling bird bell. Ah. That means Torchy must be riding his penny farthing bicycle. I love having you as my bell, tingling bird. I hope you don't mind me tapping you when I want to ring. I don't mind at all, but it's very uncomfortable for me to sit on the handle all the time. It won't be long now. We'll soon be home, and then I'll make you a cushion. And after that, I'll go and see how Flopsy's getting on. <laughs> Flopsy had just taken out the milk pudding from the oven. What a lovely smell! But it's a very big pudding. I'm sure I won't be able to eat it all up by myself. You needn't eat it up by yourself. Oh. I'm here to share it with you. Who's that? Pongo, the pirate. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> I want to be friends with you, Flopsy, and take you for a ride in my grapefruit sloop. I don't want to go. Oh. <laughs> Of course you do. Come here, my little oh. rag doll, and let me tie you up. Oh, help me, Torchy! Torchy, diggle doggle me! <laughs> but Torchy was too busy making a cushion for the tingling bird to hear Flopsy call. I hope this is going to be soft enough for you to sit on. It's lovely. You're very kind, Torchy. But I think I'll go for a little fly in the sky. I'm not getting enough exercise sitting on your back all the time. All right, bird, but come back soon. Bye-bye. The tingling bird flew in the sky. Oh, dear. That looks just like Flopsy on the road. But what is she doing with a rope around her? Come along. Hurry up, can't you? Oh, bother. You're always falling down. What's the matter with you? I, I haven't got enough stuffing inside me. Yeah. Well, I'll stuff you with some rusty nails if you're not careful. You don't be horrible. I can't help being horrible. <laughs> I am horrible. Now, come on. The tingling bird flew back as quickly as he could to tell Torchy. Bongo the pirate has captured Flopsy. How dreadful. Oh, I'll ask my magic beam to help us. Magic beam that is so bright, will you shine your lovely light? Pongo has taken Flopsy away. Please help me get her back today. Torchy pressed the switch on his jacket and the light in his helmet grew brighter and shone out of the house and all the way down to the beach. It stopped by a strange-looking boat. But it wasn't a boat at all. It was a raft. Well, what should we do, Torchy? We'll have to sail on the raft until we reach Pongo's boat. Then we'll have a fight with him and save Flopsy. I don't think I'd better come with you. I'm not a storm. You must get Sparky the dragon to help you fight a pirate. Torchy and Sparky sailed over the seas on the raft. But although they rowed as quickly as they could, Pongo's grapefruit was a long way away. This is the best rice pudding I've ever had. <laughs> You're a wonderful cook, Flopsy. No, I want you to cook for me all the time and keep my boat clean. 
We've been here for hours and hours. Can you see the boat yet? I can't see anything if you keep breathing smoke. I can't help it, Dodgy. I'm a dragon. Well, count to ten then and hold your breath. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can see the boat now. Good. I'll start to blow lots of smoke and Pongo the pirate will think he's sailed into a fog. Then you climb onto the boat and rescue Flopsy. <sighs> Why? It's getting foggy. Core! Blow me down with an hurricane. It's getting so foggy I can't see a thing. Ah, I'll have to steer her very carefully. I don't want to run into a rock. <laughs> Where are you, Flopsy? Botheration, I can't see a thing. Flopsy! What's happened to you? Flopsy was safely on the raft, and Sparky and Torchy rowed as quickly as they could away from Pongo's boat. Thank you for saving me. It was lucky there was a fog. Otherwise, Pongo would have seen you. There wasn't really a fog, Flopsy. It was Sparky blowing up smoke. <laughs> Oh, 